Hi. In this video, I'd like to explain about work done and kinetic energy. I'll start with the basics, force, motion, then go on to work, and then kinetic energy. So let's me get a robot to push a block on a horizontal plane where there is no friction. So the block has got a weight, which is acting downwards. It's balanced by the normal reaction acting upwards. If we analyze the motion itself, the force, the red arrow, which is pointing forward, makes the block go forward. And that's caused by the robot. So robot is trying to do work on the block. The force is acting only between those two points, which are marked as white lines. And that's the displacement D. The moment the block crosses that second white mark, the robot is no longer reaching out and pushing it. So the block is on its own, the robot is on its own. So you see two kinds of displacement, which are very important. One, the displacement D, which is happening when the force is acting on it. Second displacement is acting when there is no force on the block, so it moves with a constant velocity. Now let's look at the concept of work, now that we are clear about force and motion. So there is a forward force acting on the block. The block moved from the initial red line to the final red line, so it uh, went through a displacement which is in the direction of force both force and displacement are in the same direction therefore it's easy to calculate the work done as force into displacement D for the sake of the free body diagram the weight which is acting downward is mg and the normal reaction of the wooden plane on the block upwards is n so n is equal to mg so the block is stable in the vertical direction now coming to the second part of the displacement as I said the forward force arrow disappears so the block is moving by its own inertia it's moving with a constant velocity because there is no backward frictional force if there was a frictional force the block would slowly come to a standstill so anyway there's no force acting on the block in the forward backward direction so the work done by the robot on the block is zero now coming to the kinetic energy so when the block got pushed forward, and you can see all the arrows there, it changed its velocity from an initial velocity, let's say u, to a final velocity, let's say that's v. So its kinetic energy is half mv squared at the final point, and the initial kinetic energy is half mu squared. So certainly there has been a change in its kinetic energy. Now let's work with the equations. So it's very simple. So write down the work done, which is force into distance, and since the force is acting on the block and it accelerated, so that's equal to mass into acceleration. Force is mass into acceleration, so it becomes ma into d. Then plug in the kinetic energy initial, that's half mu squared, kinetic energy final, that's half mv squared, therefore the change in kinetic energy is half m into v squared minus u squared. Then plug in the velocity equations where v squared minus u squared is equal to 2as. In this case, it's 2ad. Substitute the a as v squared minus u squared by 2d and put that into the equation 1. Then you get work done is mass into acceleration into distance. And instead of a, you plug in what we got before. So you get v squared minus u squared by 2d. The d's will cancel and all of a sudden, you see work done in terms of kinetic energy. So you can see on the screen m into v squared by 2 minus m into u squared by 2. That's same as half mv squared minus half mu squared, which is the change in kinetic energy. Kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial. Therefore, work done is change in kinetic energy. It looks pretty simple now, and I hope this uh, video was useful for you. Thank you and have a great day.